we you my dear Anthony didn't say talk to Solomon. Yeni ni pa o ye bi bua o man o se ni pa nkran wo juma dia wo di na edi nkomo. So we scow so you hear new said o te bia no wo bi bi kan kwa dia talk to Solomon e ye juma dia. Na na ye ni ma brand ye bi a wa jidi pa wa Ghana sem tre juma. O ban sem tre juma Ghana ha o wa jidi ye. Ah so ta he ti bi tre news a. Oh, big voice. Oh, say the Panamericano. Eh, fellow Stephen Nanti. Now, answer the question for no case. Also, subscribe to the channel. Okay, we do not see that. Don't subscribe button. Oh, subscribe. Yes, the better. Next, um, uploads on Sabaka um videos. No, Nanti. Stephen Nanti, we are in China. Hello, good evening, and welcome to News at 10 on TV3. We're also live on 3FM 92.7. I'm Stephen Ante. We're broadcasting from the News Hub at Adisawe Kanda in Accra. And you can get interactive with us on Facebook, uh, on our Facebook page, and on 3news.com. Let's begin with the day's major news highlights. Stephen Ante. Hey, good afternoon. 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 Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm a PC. I'm not. Now you didn't come on it. Wow. My power Oh, pay them. I don't know what I'm about. Come to me. I didn't say I'll pay them. Oh, say you may. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like TV three, the old demo could three FM. Your name Stephen Anti, our old TV so radio so. But your name Stephen Anti, pa. Why not Stephen Anti? Well, uh, Stephen Anti, a fan be be a woman in a man, a man, me, 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 papa, me, papa, Reverend E. A. Manti, no, or a soft worker baby, may so rest in peace. Me, ma, me, Beatrice Manti, will be a name. Uh, anti B and a friend of but yeah me wo latte equia pim and uh o soup and a yet te papa ne mammy mo soon yet na ya tino osuno Mr T primary school wo school be our friend of uh Saint Michael's Saint Michael's a new home my school that a pa nana uh or side for Dr. Kwame Kromani uh, nephew been in a school in the end of the man has passed away, Mr. Okay. Kroma. And you know, primary school, I only call primary school, uh, then uh, after Osuno, and he moved to Abeka. And I call high school, I call Benkum Secondary School, or Latte Kuyapimo Auntie. And I said, my me, 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 me grandmother hometown, and, you know, I call school ho, form one to form five. Here in the old school system, I call. Form one to form five, and I'm a call uh, Swedo Secondary School, Aguna Swedo six four, uh, and I'm basing called GIJ. And you know, the rest they say is history. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Now, all call schools you mean now? Now, GIJ no go team say your person is entrepreneur. Oh, and yes, sir. Tell me, make school no na. Wow, him say. Yeah, my mom no. Yeah, you're helping for me. Aya. Yeah, mommy, mom, per se, be a teacher for, lawyer for, doctor for, and then, man, 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 my parents per se, and come mostly, you know, me, 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 a medical doctor. Really, you know, me go school, you know, and I know, and I was a dummy, so okay, see, from primary school, high school, medical doctor, and I make a, and then, and then, me go secondary school, me a science actually, me a physics, chemistry, biology, or O level, and I'm saying a physics, chemistry, biology, or sixth form. Now, I'm in a university, I'm in a university to study physics. At the time, no, I'm not sure my talent. I mean, feel say it's time for me to go in the direction of my talent. You know, now, and yet journalism, I'm a person may all the way through, but I be do baby, no, I say I'm sure my talent. Now, I apply myself in the area of my talent. Now, I'll show you as now, I want to bubble cracker. Say your gifts and talent will take you to kings and queens. Is it before say me? Yes, I decision not to. Go to journalism school. No? Uh, I think it's the best decision I took because this I felt that I had a talent for this kind of uh, 
profession. Yami Adam, so you boy a home idea, be seen there. And you know, me start here and I have a medical doctor and I'm a branch into journalism. To Usha, me no Ankasano, me journalism specialization was all in the area of science. Me okay. environmental reporting in GI, me okay. specializing in reproductive health communication, me okay. specializing in development communication, a little bit of science bias, okay. you know. It has always been like that, and, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm a journalist. I wanted to be a medical doctor. Wow. Now, offshore, and they are saying, Oh, yeah, I'm pushing out to me a medical food now. And I'm going to say, Oh, we push it, I'm fine. But I'm going to say, Do baby, no, no, me no, be a me to me manage the stress of, you know, me kai pass six form, yeah, uh, laboratory practice. Uh, we have to cut the rabbit into two. I mean to me cry. I couldn't mm. stand those things. Let me a little bit Mr. of Moja. Mr. Moja Visa. Oh, Mr. Mr. Moja now. Yes, I'm on Visa. Moja now we have different times. <laughs> 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 it's you know. Uh, so, <laughs> who I am today. The Mfana said, if I was a medical doctor today, would I be any different from being the journalist today? My folks say. My first SMA, a medical doctor, I would equally achieve for successes just as I will be a, a journalist. And see, me who say, say, me koye driver, me nimpoa, sebe sebe. Me, 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 responses to life, and then I say, in anywhere you find yourself, you give it your best. And you know, and come here, a medical doctor, possibly will be one of the best doctors in town. Uh, doctor, and and I, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh -huh. And you know, ningi na and say, we be a ube, 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 ube in terms of career piano it was putting your maximum best in that area and according to the scriptures your gifts and talent will take you to kings and queens it's simple I mean, first, if I was a medical doctor I'll be the best around wow you know? that, that, that's so, good to know yeah that's good yeah. to know so after GIJ we are from Joy FM. And you know, before Joy FM, you know, uh, what people don't know, and it's a UAGI, you know, in 1998, wow. two years diploma at the time, you know, there was no degree in GIJ. Two years diploma in GIJ. And you know, during the training, you know, I intern, a world graphic. Uh, Mirror, the independent newspaper, me internship kakrao, GBC Radio, Radio Ghana. And you know, me sense we here, internship kakrao, Ghana News Agency. Yeah, in time, no na, and yes, I go school and I say, hey, Juma, we wanted to know the job. And you know, me here internship across all these areas, and sana me me graduated from journalism school. And see me here school, no na. Me a stringing, kakra kakra, a war, uh, a mirror, mirror, weekly spectator, get to the court, okay. do some small, small reports. And you know, uh, during the national service, Nimuna, Mikoya national service or information service department, a war, Konongwa Santiachim. And you know, me more like acting information officer for Santiachim North. And you know, a muha na me I uh, have opportunity to work with national security. And, you know, ma, really? I went school ma, kwe, journalism no, full time, okay. straight away. Yeah. In fact, I went to the National Security Council for close to about six years. And sana I went me the call back to university for a master's degree. And I went to the outside, I went Cardiff University or South Wales or United Kingdom. And you know, in you know, just say me, me entire time of after school, of no, better six years, now I was in the security services. And you know, me fee, me fee outside buying, you know, and that was my first job. And I'm in more joy, joy FM as a okay. senior broadcast journalist. I'm here man all for some time, and I rose to what become. The, what the basic you, you know what I yeah. mean? <laughs> 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 you know, me, me, and I started joy. In the time I only me from joy, you know, mm -hmm. now I feel uh, me fear going to my bar after further studies. Okay. And I'm a be a senior broadcast journalist for joy, and me rise here to become a news editor. And a uh, few honor, I make call join a U.S. State Department. I honor. State Department, you know, I have a friend of media specialist for 
the U.S. President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief. Wow. I don't know what kind of short PEPFA. Wow. In TDNA, NSA, I was responsible for promoting the U.S. government activities that supported the government of Ghana's response to HIV AIDS. Okay. And through that, you know, um, you know, a lot of working relationship with persons who live with HIV AIDS, persons dealing with uh, tuberculosis and other terminal conditions, and give them support, mm. uh, etc. And so whilst we offer the support for them, you know, so now you yeah, publicize the work of the US government in the Ghanaian media and international media. And so at that time, you now I'm uh, more like the uh, information assistant to the information officer in the public awareness campaign for that program in the year and for some time which was at the state department as journalists you have the craving to come back to the media and to me offer samba or joy as a news editor for uh, Joy News. Now I think I was starting TV, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. And see, from State Department, I came back to Joy. I worked at Joy for a while, and a TV3 uh, opening, and so so a buy. Okay. And Osha, in everything we do at each stage of our life, we seek to move on a little bit. Mm. And, you know, I don't know the ABC. And see, I have also some backgrounds from working with the public diplomacy, uh, U.S. Embassy, uh, U.S. State Department, and uh, working as a security services oper operations officer, and then uh, coming back into the media. And it has been back and forth. Mm -hmm. And I have a varied background because of work experience and uh, life, you know, life challenges throw at you and yeah. you get a lot of experience. Yeah. 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 And then, I don't know if you security and you have a security background. Six years with the national security. And what type of cameras? What cameras? Now you are buying cameras, facing it in your home. Are you that conscious about security? I am conscious. I am very conscious. And yes, consciousness as a result of, say, ABR. Uh, ABR, I can confidently say, say, maybe because of my background and mm. understanding, I'm very, very conscious. conscious. And, you know, I make sure that I protect myself, I protect my family and everything. And sometimes to say, in Kofuka security, I agree say, hardcore security, having a gun. Taking the basic precautions, inquire, okay, mm -hmm. even cry, oh, kofia, you're watching, you're mm -hmm. driving, you're watching who is following you, yeah. you take note of people who are standing at odd corners close to your house, you, you know, being alert is all security is about. It's me, I'm very conscious, uh, mm -hmm. conscious to the extent that I like to protect my house, protect my family and protect everything including my dogs actually. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dogs you feel what the what the as a move from and say but over time now cross days by plan. Oh, you might we are living in the public eye sometimes in Crawford for one time for no reason and Crawford you get you become you become a target of attacks etc and you know over time you know I I, I cultivated the habit of keeping dogs and see since here I currently I have three dogs uh, you know I like them but they provide me some basic security around my house and also keep them as pets and you know say we will be out here uh, interested in animals uh, say, every day you live your life to serve this animal who okay. knows nothing sometimes it's a humbling experience you wake up you clean their mess you you clean their poop and then give them water and then give them food the day you are broke, they are not eating. The way you don't have money, they, they don't they are not eating. And so, Usha, not just say this is a whole life you are nurturing. Mm -hmm. And see, that experience humbles you. I say, every few months, every few months, because I'm a bread. But then I'm looking at my dog in a mess. Now I say, me, you miss coats, me, you miss shirts, too, baby, and get down to basics and clean. And you know. 
Uh, it's a humbling experience. It, uh, I love the dogs because they also provide some level of safe security around us and they protect us also. It's not a bit bad. I wasn't traditionally a dog person, okay. but with time, you, know, you get to understand say, you live, they live. They live, you live. That kind of interdependency, it does get interesting. Mm -hmm. We will be our own year, uh, own year too keen on helping other people. Uh, that's the beginning. You learn to care for an animal. Mm -hmm. An animal who doesn't deserve you or you don't deserve that animal. An animal who does not bring any benefits to you at all, none. But you live to ensure the dog lives. Okay. Uh, it's a humbling experience for me. Okay. We we'll read many meanings into it, but sana me hono. Mm -hmm. I must be honest. Now, and come on, I say, look at dogs. You are not actually. I don't want to look at dogs. 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 Look dogs. Look at 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 so we got them when they were just eight weeks. Until only cramants now from eight weeks out, they learn your command, they learn your voice, they know when you're home. You say sit, they sit, they listen to you. But look how breeds now are one whole same kind of crap. And the intimate manager, you know, these are foreign breeds, these are okay. pit bulls. And okay, now what Tom was saying, come on, I'm not Tom, you know. Mm -hmm. Be better, ma, or be breedy breeders. I won't wait you, man. No, it's you know, be breedy uh, 2,500, 1,500 here and there. You negotiate and you buy what your money can afford. It's a sad year, Tom. It's a way, mono, uh, uh, be a breedy, me, me, back, or me, me, turn or uh, takrade. And son, another one, another pit bull, me, cotton or coforidia. And see, you look at the terrain, another, uh, me, bull master, me, cotton or dodoa. Wow, and see, that's where the breeder is. And we took an aqua fat, which yeah, just like any child. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, back home. Come on, back home. I tell you a funny thing. Sometimes, say, me the main cramming in Nam Quanhua, me me area on me, me be a mitino, em say, guys, we're all in cramming pa, and two of our nobody say, hey, who come out with ye? Me cramming yet, the papa. It's very annoying, but I got your saying, come on, we win your nitino fifty more. We say, yeah, dog meat. I see. Uh, yeah. Frustrating, but yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, that's it. Oh, yeah, expensive, mm -hmm. but we, we keep them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to be that question. What did you say? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the I feel say you cannot put a value on life. Okay. That's important. And you know, I just said, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the Wow. Two five, two thousand five hundred dollars, and you know, say it be our crama, crama ni a pedigree, pedigree ni chese, a crama ni our history, our ni papers. To me, trace you all the way to ni grandfather. You know, you have the papers. Really? Yes. Since if you are, you have a dog with a pedigree there, uh, you can pay as much as three thousand five hundred dollars for one dog. For just one? Yes, yes one. And you know, the question I'll be saying is, is the cost of the dog worth it? It is absolutely. It's answer. Uh, it do baby and crama become companions. Baby mm. and fans say, "Oh, if you know, be in on a crama and be born home by kakra." It's worth it. I mean, you can't trade your life for two thousand five hundred or three thousand five hundred. You can't na I change you. Me nyan show. I mean, me 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 you can I mean in crama, but me I think say sebio. We are saying you know, obia pe. Focus a certain focus to be valuable, and you know, a bit more pen cram, a bit more penny pa, a bit more pen moi, a bit more cry, a pe cats, me mean pe cats, and you know, my friend say it has nothing to do with that. But initially, it's a cinema church, because of the urgent need to get a beer and cram mine to protect us from robberies and attack. I've been a, a victim of an armed robbery before, oh, and you know, okay. from that experience, you know. Uh, when I'm keeping a dog, I keep a dog that can protect me. Mm -hmm. If you come to my house and you are not invited, I'm sorry, <laughs> you can't come in. It's I know. see. It's me in fact say we are at now UK and uh, other places. I've been all over the place anyway. In Tanya UK and Kwa, my influences from uh, various places don't only reflect the lifestyle in the UK and uh, BB. Because I've been all over. I know people. Uh, I travel around the world. In Tanya, 
it be a kahumbi, but from me, me, me standpoint, me feel says is that the, the human uh, desire to to live, you know, want to live, and if somebody is threatening your existence, so be better to is you to know where we are for everything you worked for. Uh, then if you have a dog and the dog will uh, interface that and protect you a little bit a dog can give his life for you but a human being will not I mean if you have a security guard and you have a dog the dog can defend you with his life mm. but a human being cannot and, you know dog lovers have a way of appreciating the the value of the dog I can't put a value on on my dog ever ever wow. um, now fear and maybe Oh, no, no. what you see. That's very bad. And see, you so need me from uh, joy. You think that's all I have lived for? No, mm -hmm. I have lived. I've done other yeah. things before. Yeah. Parents, oh, almost an yeah. You know, uh, if you are meeting Monday, it doesn't reflect. Say, a service, service. Me will fear kesi, me will fear ketoa. It doesn't reflect on my personality. Service, service. But me miss it. And I be an obi, obi richi chenga, obi sorry, take it tails, obi sorry, I confirm. But I put my life and invested consistently over a 10 year period to okay. be able to get a house and live wow. inside. Oh, you know, uh, if I've been doing this for 10 years and you see me and you think, say, I have you, uh, I put my life into uh, my house and so I live in a comfort zone. I, I mean, it's up to you to have that opinion, but mm. I, I lived, I, I, I committed my life, my investment into it for 10 years. Now, who can do that? Somebody who dis who wants to uh, uh, make something out of his life commits ten years to it, and it's exactly what it is. Mm. So, and I know the benefits. I know Juma Juma Kobi, oh, when I on but me see self, you know. Oh, yeah, journalist now. Oh, a big house, a wall, you know. In Kraman Goom, Kraman Goom, and a journalist. Uh, well, I that mean, general is in the school. Uh, okay, that you know, pay. question I am, I'm in Kofota, besides our question, I make me be sad and say, What is your skill worth? Until you be some say, journalism, Sika, or more. Answer me, my one, and say, If you if you know your value, mm. your value is worth the value, okay. Well, wow, you know, um, if I say over the period of being a journalist, I wouldn't say I, I, I have regrets in being a journalist. And I wouldn't say other opportunities would not have made me richer. But I felt say I'm content. And uh, I think I'm taken care of, uh, well taken care of, uh, because of the value of my skill. And we are saying, well, no, it's not what you do. Is the value you add to yourself? And see, say, maybe I tell me X amount of money or TV three. Maybe I do other things to in order to show up my 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 income level. Maybe I invest the money I get into a business to bring me some other other money. What you see is what you see on TV, but that's not all. That's not our life. And uh, uh, I mean, I'm married. I have a spouse who also works. And see, we pull resources together and we have a life. And you know, we feel sad. The question of journal, whether journalism pays or whether medicine, being a medical doctor, pays. There are, there are doctors who are very poor mm. and there are lawyers who are extremely poor also. And see, it all depends on your value. I mean, I've, I've had a friend who is a lawyer and I call, I said, Cool, Charlie, your case be home. So follow case in mommy. Later, hungry, I was from you and say, Masa, I stopped following small time cases okay. with small money. Okay. Wow! I was hurt in a, in a sense but not in a bad way and i'm saying hey you take my small money and work for me that is the value the person has put on him so you know i think that is it's not right to say does journalism pay or does journalism not pay but we're surviving okay. we're good and we're content that's the most important okay. thing okay you mentioned your wife from crossing or me, 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 three okay. uh, technically me, four but uh Three are my biological children, and one has been with me for a while, so it's part of the family. See, four. Okay. Hmm. Now, four no, or my youth is in. Four no, Penino or VGIJ. Recently, or about 25, I think. Okay. And uh, uh, my first biological child. 
senior secondary school okay. uh, form two in Nigeria kind of one year that he'll finish and then in Kola kind of primary school uh, 11 years 9 years 17 years 25 years okay okay now okay. who can ask you like your worth you know mm. Before we TV show, I never said I mean no. Yeah, Juma Bakwa, I say me name Munti Nameka. You are one of the best news anchors. Even your voice mm -hmm. and your control, your command over what you do. Then I would just say, a year wo. I mean, who decided to sing Kano? What is your secret? In Kofu Tab Bisamen, says question you pa. Na the American say in anything you do. Practice makes perfect. You can't just get up and apply yourself to an area you have not trained. And you know, near Mekan say, fine. I mean, I was privileged. Say, me, me, mom, and papa, we were in our dear school. You know, my parents were were keen on giving us very good basic education. Nam papa is seaman, a little bit of suffer. Okay. And all his life he was willing to pay for us to get good education. And he fine, I was privileged and I'm honored to have gone through a basic school system that taught me how to express myself. I went through a basic school system that taught me to be confident. And mm -hmm. I shall not make and not make a certain person be a medical doctor until after six form I decided to be a journalist. I think the confidence I got from the kind of education and investments my parents put into my education is the number one foundation. Now thereafter, after I acquire I could train as a journalist. The rest is consistent practice. Up to today, uh, I rehearse my scripts before I go on okay. air. I've read through, read through, read through, punch through possible questions and possible feedback from whoever I'm interviewing. I do that every day. And you know, my folks say on a daily basis, when you set out to improve yourself in whatever field you find yourself, I mean, Mekai Pa said that there are many times I could take a newspaper and read in front of the mirror. Okay. And my children will be laughing at me. Okay. But I do that. So yeah. now, why you about journalism? Yeah. Okay. You know, you know, fans say, it be a Saturday, me will a key points program be. Now it will say me very hazy. Now it will say me chat intro be chew and poor baba. It be a whole own kita script. It will say to me memorize it. How can you do that if you have not practiced? Wow, and see, the critical thing is that we never stop learning as professionals. And to be BIA, BR, in whichever field, practice makes perfect. And see, at this stage, I'm away. When I have a program, I get nerves and I rehearse. I rehearse. Me, Election Watch. Election Watch yeah. is a program where we have two uh, PhD holders one in statistics, one in political science. They have data which they are presenting to uh, our viewers. If I don't understand this data, if I cannot express myself around the data, how useful will I be? It is me. I can take the data home, sleep over it, read over it, eh, master some of the things I don't understand. I'll call them. Hey, dog, wait, 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 no. Eh. That's what we do. That's what we do to seek to be perfect. This is a job that we execute with the finesse that will make it stand out. It's simple. And, you know, uh, I will advise young uh, and up and coming young professionals in any field, including journalism, say, be be our ye biano, put in your best, invest time to learn and to acquire knowledge in this area. That's the only way you can excel. One you do things and you know me, it's a me if I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. So mix I okay. put myself into it and make sure I'm not only doing it, but it's the best. Oh, you see, I don't know how to guiding principle okay. that even if I have to do the little things of all, it has to be the best. Okay. Uh -huh. And you know, that's it. I still rehearse. I still practice. And wow. see, practice makes perfect. You mean to me, Kase, because, oh, we my, oh, join me in TV, so I'm a bag, 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 and I'm a big in No, it doesn't work like that. And see, constantly, you know, I say I practice. That's that's my secret. Okay. I started by saying, say, me da yami ase say I was in a in a family situation where me mama and me papa they understood. So I was say what they make school, and they gave me the 
one of the finest basic educations they could invest into. The rest has been hard work and practice, sincerely. Okay. Okay. Now, we interview Ben Awea, who feels that it was big interview with the soon. And at the end of the day, we could tell you, you know, that we could tell you that we could tell you that and you know, my, my interviews, I've interviewed many people. Now, and you mean to me, Kai, specific interviews are my, but Mikai said, one of my most humbling uh, experiences in interviewing, may interview. Uh, uh, the wife of um, Bishop Duncan Williams. Uh, that's the. She was in the U.S. State Department. Uh, okay. Whitaker, something Whitaker, yeah. from the Whitaker Group. Oh, uh, and uh, you know because of now my State Department and you know, minimum mini profile. Okay. He. Then I have an interview with this woman. Okay. Look, man. I was melted because the the aura around the importance of this woman really made my ne my my knees started buckling. Really? You see, me call you know. The first thing that confronted me was humility. Humility, man. Here I am thinking that uh, I'm coming to interview one of the biggest people. I mean, after uh, uh, after Hillary Clinton. She was one of the most revered when uh, it comes to uh, American women who work in the public uh, services. Mm. And you know, but me call her no. Duncan Williams was not at home. The wife was. Can you believe? Say, of our tree on one casa, a coupon soup in kitchen to serve all of us water. That was my first encounter of humility in that sense. I mean, I mean, as maybe in background, my parents are humble, but I would have expected so be of that high profile, really be up there and make you feel really down there. But she was very receptive, and throughout the interview, I was nervous, but I carried myself and I conducted a decent interview thereafter. Uh, I once interviewed uh, my interview, Professor Mills, may so rest in peace, because I was on a campaign with him. It was difficult to get him to speak because we were on a campaign. Then I get to interview him and some of the revelations were fantastic for me as a journalist. And see, the experiences I've had have been numerous and then there were times that I've interviewed people like Tarzan, Reku Brobe and uh, it demands that you know your stuff before you interview such people. Mm -hmm. If you don't know your stuff, you disgrace yourself, disgrace your profession and you belittle uh, the media you work for. And see, I've had quite a number of interviews with uh, many people what sticks out to my mind are some of these ones. Uh, my interviews with males, uh, my interviews with uh, Whitaker, with uh, Duncan Williams' wife, uh, quite a lot. I can't pinpoint on any, but maybe with time, something will come up in my mind. And, you know, I've had so many of them. Uh, mm. I think that it also, it also should tell you that I see this as, a, as work proficiency that I execute and I move on. So I have so many that I can't even pinpoint one which was outstanding for me. I've okay. interviewed people from the World Bank, I've interviewed people from the United Nations, I've interviewed, I once interviewed the, the former president of uh, uh, Mozambique who was in Ghana at the time. It was a very interesting conversation and you know uh, I think I've interviewed all sorts of people, high and low profile. I once interviewed uh, 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 KKD. Uh, okay. I was impressed by his uh, finesse and use of words and command of language. I've interviewed uh, John Dumelo before. I even interviewed Sir John uh, uh, before. May he so rest in peace. So I've had a series of interviews spanning over 20 years of practice, it's not easy to pinpoint one and say that was outstanding. Now, the now, feel low, so we take your year now. Okay. 
I don't think I ever experienced that law. Okay. His son said, said, Miko interviewer, I put in the best preparations I've ever had, but I'm just trying to remember one encounter. I think said there was a time uh, during the just before the 2008 elections. Uh, now uh, I was a join. Then the EPC interview, a winnie, I think a winnie was a uh, spokesperson for government. It was so difficult to get the man. Then we heard on radio that he was at City FM. Oh, then I was sent there, go and wait for the man to finish. Then I step out to, to ask him my question and man, he was rude at the time. I mean, he's a nice guy. I've had a lot of communications with him thereafter, but that was something else. I mean, he would made an attempt to slam the door on my leg. I put the <laughs> door there, raised my mic, and he says all sorts of things. Initially, I didn't want to uh, use the interview, but I went ahead to use the interview, and he called us names and journalists. You just make assumptions. And I was supposed to have interviewed him on why President Kufo chose to attend the Commonwealth celebration in Trinidad and Tobago when we also had the same Commonwealth celebration in Ghana. Simple question, right? And it brought a lot of troubles. So, yeah, I think that that's one of my lowest because then it wasn't an attack at me as an individual, but it was an attack at my audience who were listening also. But that's just it. Beyond that, I don't think I've had this kind of lowness in interviewing because I prepare adequately. I go into the interview and I do my Breco Brobe and I interview uh, Bright Simmons from Imani. These are people who use data and information so powerfully that if you're not well versed in the area you're interviewing them, you talk to uh, Breco Brobe, you don't have your facts right in energy and you'll be flawed. You talk to Bryce Simmons and you don't have your facts in whichever area you're interviewing him on, whether it is on EC's decision to uh, go biometric, EC's decision to compile a new voters register, and you don't have the figures, you'll be, you'll be, you, you appear to be useless. Uh -huh. And so, you know, I go into interviews not with the mindset of being flawed, but with the mindset of informing my audience, my viewers and my listeners, so I prepare. I don't think I've had that low in that sense because each interview is a well prepared one. That oh. kind of thing. Now, we have a audience that attribute the book about through your experience. No account. I'm a man for one of the things that I'm a person may throw about, you know, yeah, reporting on uh, elections in Ghana, OSHA, from my experience as security uh, services person through to. I've covered almost all the elections in Ghana from 1992. In 1992, I was an uh, uh, election EC official okay. because I was young, small okay. boy. I got some part-time job, you know, do. And then following elections, I'm uh, as a security operative. Following election, I'm as a journalist. Yeah, so I would like to one day write a book about that uh, to, to let everyone have a fair idea of the successes our democracy has gone through and from the perspective of a journalist and from the perspective of a security operative. I have plans uh, like that, but I haven't really put anything into motion yet. Maybe I will from now. Okay. Mm -hmm. now, lastly, um, what about retire as journalists? Uh, big question. I, I, we want to get some rest. I mean, after 15 years, uh, we may want to think about resting, but once a journalist, always a journalist. If you have your back, you will retire from formal work, which everybody should do at the age of 60, but we'll still be journalists. Once a journalist, journalist for life. So I don't see myself retiring as in getting completely out of journalism. I will retire from formal work, but I may need to get busy. I, I plan, my ambition is to uh, become a trainer journalist so if it means going back to school to get a PhD and teach I will do that and that I will do for the rest of my life because I think journalism needs a lot of inputs from people with experience if we all leave and go and do banking we all leave and go and do real estate journalism will suffer so I will be here for a while I'm confident of that inshallah if God gives me long life okay. I'll be here till I'm 90.
thank you so much for having you on Dr. Solomon. Thank but before um, uh, what can be brave? But in summary, I'm for brave. You know, guys, you know, they want to be like you. Mm. The command, mm. the flair you have on mm. air. GI, the minimum of the brain, must send messages. They want to talk to me you and all that. Mm. And the people brain, oh, I want your access to talk to you. Mm. But today you are talking to them. I want you to say something to okay. them. Okay, into you know, uh, I express myself better when I speak English. Into what you tell me, you know, simple advice, and I say, we are saying I want to be a crank a crank. Whatever you do, put yourself into it. Be the best you can and prepare for your successes. Sometimes, no, uh, so TV, so so radio, so so best writer. You start from somewhere and improve yourself until you be the best you can be. And do not be in competition with anyone. Be in competition with yourself and be the best version of yourself any day. Thanks very much. Right. So. Stephen Anti in a name in a dim common, but did he say when you be a free in some of our can? Yami Adma da Fofro, a day will be so beba, the Papa for Baba, Minkanesa, a bonus of a can, um, Ninsama will pursue with Tino, on a swab a can, your new actual. Within the Solomon Mensa, Madassa, say, Unada General Vay, Madassa be brave.